Good evening. Hello, Free Enterprise 2 racing fans across the world, across the galaxy, wherever you might be. I am Nitsky. Here with me in the booth is Game Boy F9. We're playing Eblin Elixir League. It's rocking. It's rolling. We've got people. We've got four races. It's going to be super exciting. You hyped? You hyped tonight, Game Boy? Uh, uh, you know, I'm pretty hyped. Night two of the uh, Eblin Elixir League and um, uh, really exciting race here. Uh, like on the top, we pretty much have the old guard here with Penguinator, who is the fourth person to ever enter the Free Enterprise Discord. Uh, like he entered like two hours after it formed or something like that. And then we have Peasants, who's been with us since January of 2019. So you you know that's going to be a really hype matchup. Two very good runners. Um, at the bottom, we have Tallgran and Woo Bear. Another uh, pretty exciting race. And oh, by the way, these are the two. The, both of these are the same uh, teams facing against each other. So. Um, it's uh, definitely going to rock, uh, but we have uh, liftoff here with Rosa as our hero. And joining Rosa is, um, I always forget, <laughs> it's a Palum or Porum. That is uh, everybody's favorite Palum. All right, so uh, uh, that is the Black Wizard, and that's uh, the Quake Kid, if I recall, but... Uh, need a little bit more experience before we can do that and we did start with the ad event so we're halfway through our third objective we have a little bit of an issue with the uh with the uh with the runners a little bit so that's why we started very quickly so uh, here it goes the enterprise and um it uh, looks like penguinator is going to start in baron and uh, the bottom race they're going to start in eblin proper to the league, and Peasants is starting in Dam Damkayan. For sure. So uh, just so that everybody knows the uh, the copper at the top, uh, that's Penguinator versus Peasants, and then uh, at the bottom in the patina is Tallgrant versus uh, Woo Bear. And we see uh, a little bit of a divergence, but uh, not a lot. Penguinator being of the, the old school guard, he might, he might do things just a little bit differently. Um, you know, he's he's the one in uh, ZZ1 who uh, famously was able to warp to Zeromus, which uh, caused uh, amazing things to happen. And uh, there were some changes made to the game as a result so that that couldn't happen again. And that's why we have uh, that amazing flag in regards to that. Um, we do see... Uh, Tall Grant and Woo Bear both in Eblin Castle. There are four chests in there that they're going to be looking for, or maybe not. They're probably trying to not spike those chests. Get some really sweet gold. It's uh, considered a gated area, so the uh, the amounts of gold, as you can see, not getting items, getting gold instead. Um, because, uh, yeah, that's just how Push and Party rolls. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Game yep. Boy. Uh, let, let, let the fans know what they're in for. Yeah, um, as um, you're seeing pretty uh, quickly here, uh, all, all the boxes contain money, every single one of them. It's not, they, our runners have not uh, hit like a one in uh, 84 cotillion uh, to the power of two to one against or anything like that. No, all, no, that's by design. All the boxes have gold in them. Um, we do have eight objectives, although we had to combine a couple of them for layout purposes. Uh, you do have to complete six of them, and as soon as you complete six of them, the game is over. Now, uh, all these objectives here are not easy, so you still have to go through some... You, you have to do some work to take care of it, so... Um, there are a lot of uh, other interesting things, but uh, Rosa is our hero, so Rosa is always going to get experience points. Um, and there are also some interesting uh, restrictions to that. Um, yeah, so just just a lot of uh, really fun stuff. You can't get experience from random encounters, so don't expect any sirens to pop. Um, and yeah, just just a number of other things that uh, we'll talk about as we get through here. 
I was just trying to look on Peasant Stream to see who was in uh, the bed there, Game Boy. Did you happen to, to get a peek at that real quick? It was so fast. Yeah, no, I did. I missed that. Oh, I'm being told from Skyth Marshall, one of our trackers, that Edge was in the bed. So, um, San Ruby is definitely in play here. As are monsters over on Penguinator's side. And uh, now, uh, the Mad Ogres definitely win on this occasion. That's for sure. So, spicy edge in the bed. So, uh, probably some of our runners, if not all of them, will be hoping to spike that sand ruby somewhere because edge on this flag set is just just about as good as Ridia. I know everybody says Ridia this, Blark that, but me, buy me some, some of those sweet drain spheres that I see on Peasant's side and just dart like it's 1999. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the shops, all these shops here are, if I'm not mistaken, it's S Wild, so, uh, but you can't see any J items, so there are no sirens out that's going to help you anyway, because you don't, because you can't score points uh, for random counters, but uh, no hourglasses, that would help, and uh, just a lot of no. That's right, it is uh, S Wild, as we do see, uh, it looks as though a vanilla baron in there uh, on Wu Bear's side, but it's nice enough to peek that out. I think that was uh, indicated uh, a little bit earlier by Riven, so thank you so much for picking that up there. Um, we just basically see our runners at this point. Part of this flag set is, is get money, get the characters you can, and then basically start start hauling down objectives. It's uh, it's K-Main and K-Trap, and it's everybody's favorite you know, white-haired uh, multi-mage Tella up at the uh, the top of Hobbs, so it looks as though Peasants is going to go ahead and pick up our boy Tella, hopefully uh, power him up, maybe see, maybe potentially see a run up ordeals. You've got, uh, you got the elements here, and at this spot, you know, as a, as a watcher, you don't really want to see it, but the runners will be really happy. Elements in some, some areas can be very, very rude. Uh, with a lot of hit points and a lot of magic, a lot of damage overall. Uh, Mylon Z in uh, Elements form can really pack a punch. So uh, Peasants has got his telly. He's coming back down Hobbs. Oh, no, he's going to check out West Hobbs. I love this play. There are four chests here. And usually, as you can see there, spike some sweet money. That's a free 39,000. Because you got Tella, you're going to use Exit anyways. So might as well pick up a free 39,000 gold. Cha-ching! Oh, yikes. Uh, I don't think uh, Tallgrand... Oh, Tallgrand is still alive, but I don't think that... Yep, Rubicante has won on this occasion. Um, Penguinator, I believe, skipped Mount Hobbs, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm going to head over to Missidia and check out those stores. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go back and do some shopping. I felt Tallgrand's going to give Hobbs another try. Yeah, definitely. Um, for as much as people hate on Tella, and he's he's a terrible hero, that's why he can't be the hero in this flag set. Uh, that is confirmed. But he's definitely, he could be potentially the only, uh, although we have Rosa, um, he could be potentially uh, the only useful mage with exit in this seat. So you definitely want to keep him around. That's that's for sure. Uh, yeah, spicy, much, spicy. Much better like, play there by Tallgrand there, so... Yeah, yep. sometimes sometimes when you go into a battle, you just you're kind of not prepared. Maybe he didn't see it was elements versus Mylon Z, and he just whacked at it. And was like, oh geez, it's Ruby. I'm in I'm in some trouble. But Paul Grant's pretty good player. He he was able to to get that second time, so that's good here. So we see uh, Penguin Eater and Silvera looking at those uh, loot boxes in the. Uh, in the back there, there's a Leviathan Summon and uh, some Life Potions, something uh, our runners may want to take hold of. As we do see Peasants uh, going into uh, Antlion Cave, something you don't see a lot of. He's actually looting the chests here. I'm I'm a little 50-50 on this. I haven't checked on, on the map. I'm not sure if you have Game Boy um, about whether or not looting chests would make sense in here. But uh, definitely is a, a key item check, so could be the magma key. It could be a moon veil, which would be super useful on this flight set. It could also even be, you know, a zone. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, I believe when I, in Evelyn, I was seeing treasures of like 35,000, something like that. And I just only got about five or 6,000 off of that. And um, yeah, uh, this is, uh, we got vanilla antlion here. So uh, pretty procedural uh, in defeating this one. Just uh, don't attack like uh, Rosa did there. Oh no, oh, wait, wait, Rosa aimed. Rosa aimed, so that does not result in a counterattack. Another fire, two fires there. I think Antline's going down. Yes, Peasants is victorious there. Tallgrant, now over in Fugul, gonna take on the CPU. As we see, what's Peasants reward? Oh, it's a life staff. Well, that gets, that gets her Rosa pretty much online, so she might turn into Murder Mage or from murder mage into you know healing mage that's uh that's a really useful uh spell for her as uh, she gets up in levels i'll probably keep her in uh in attack mode for now since uh quick kid is not quite yet online uh for peasants there and uh well you know tell us tell uh <laughs> you know. and yeah. uh and shout out to uh escrant is this even randomized uh for the vanilla antlion you actually don't mind seeing Antlion in his vanilla location because, again, in some other spots, he can be downright rude. Yeah, absolutely. And the CPU battle continues over in Tongrant's side. I think we're going to check out the Mist Cave, see what uh, boss is not going to be participating in, uh, uh, in its Bygen. Okay, Tall Grant's gonna take a risk here. A little bit of a risk, but I think CPU's almost out of HP. Um, let's see, is that gonna be enough? It sure is, okay. So Tall Grant wins 5,600 points, a whole bunch of levels, and a partridge and a pear tree. <laughs> so yes, uh, our runners will be happy uh, to know that Bygen's off the table. Um, getting some really rude bosses potentially out of the pool. Still haven't seen uh, any any sparkles, so you know they're still still wyvern with uh, with white there and penguinator learning about edge mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, in the driver's seat there. Just waiting yep. for someone to wake them up. And I saw a rat tail for Tallgrant, so um, that that might uh, yield another key item later on. We we. Don't quite know yet. That's going to take a little bit. Uh, Wu Bear taking the long route on the elements, but I think that uh, it is going to be a victory. Yes, it is. So a little longer than everyone else, but that's all right. A uh, whole bunch of levels there, and uh, Wu Bear's got Tella. Definitely, uh, again, good. Better to, to fill up your party now versus later, I find, on these spike sets, unless. You know, you just happen to run into uh, copies uh, on this flag set uh, in case anybody doesn't uh, quite know, which is totally fine. Uh, it's a distinct seven, so we'll have a, a total of seven uh, different characters. You'll have duplicates, but duplicates can't join the party. So, uh, so far we've seen four of the seven. We've seen uh, Rosa, we've seen Tella, we've seen Palm, and we have seen Edge. So, uh, you know, Pally Cecil is still potentially out there. Um, Ardivo and Fabul, definitely, uh, definitely useful there uh, for our runners to pick up, especially. Although, you know, if I have the samurai bow with with Rosa, I think I just go with the Sammy bow. It's it's the second best, so I, I think I go with that. As mm -hmm. uh, as we see, Tall Grant uh, going up ordeals, gonna get that Tella online, and he is rewarded with a water head, which is actually not too too bad. There's about three thousand hit points here. Um, no free bosses is on, so uh, in this case, uh, in the vanilla game, Waterhead, you'd hit him three times, he'd die. On these flag sets, you gotta, you gotta take him down. So it's gonna be a little more than three hits if they're only doing 300 damage uh, at this point. Although, uh, you know, our boy Palm's gonna, gonna help us out there with almost 600. Um, so far, so far nothing too out of the ordinary, again. Uh, some bosses that uh, Chad, I'm sure, would like to see in uh, some spicy spots there later on. Uh, fortunately, Peasants remembering that CPU does have wall up and got wall up before Palum casts that bit too. And uh, unfortunately, Palum's taking it down there. 
All right, a lot of action going on right now. Woo Bear taking on the Antlion. Uh, Tallgram finishing off uh, the Water Hag. Penguinator now claiming Tull, the last of our four, uh, to uh, do that. Uh, and Peasants taking on the CPU. A uh, little bit of a struggle here, but uh, should be okay. Uh, we do have a dead Palom over there, but that might be by design. I'm not sure yet. Um, and uh, and Pagonator now claiming the 35,000 uh, gold pieces there. As uh, S. Grant, our amazing restreamer, indicates in chat, it was a very heads up by Cero swap by uh, Penguinator to, to get out of that little bit of a jam there. Uh, Penguinator being one of the the top vanilla FF4 speedrunners, you'll, you'll see tech out of him that I think doesn't compare to, to anybody else. I, eh. I, I was. Uh, Fortunate enough to meet uh, Penguinator in 2019 at uh, RPG Limit Break, and uh, his mashing skills are just, it's its a wonder to watch. So uh, definitely look out for some some wild things that he does there that you might not see otherwise. Uh, we see in uh, the Mylon Z spot, we see Dark Imps on Tallgrant's side, uh, and we do see Penguinator coming down in Pantline Cave. He's going to get a fun life staff. Uh, we do see Blue Bear checking out uh, one of the uh, trap chests in Eblin is the, the triple ogre chest there, so uh, that's going to be exciting. I believe he had already cast... Um, oh, ooh, excuse nice. me. I, I hate wow. to interrupt, but that was brilliant play by Woo Bear. Throwing a fatal down and... Oh, that was a recall fatal. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> that was that brilliant. Was, that Also using the hourglass against the mad ogres, that also was very good. That is, uh, yeah, recall. I'm not sure the uh, the percentages on uh, how successful it is, and then the percentages on what spell he can actually cast. But getting the fatal there, that is definitely going to propel Wu Bear ahead there in regards to that. And uh, as that Scrant, our, our restreamer indicates, uh, the uh, the stick has been acquired, as uh, has been indicated uh, by a lot of people uh, in chat. And, uh, flag set here so crystal crystal sword ready we'll see if we'll see if cecil is uh is there to pick it up meanwhile uh we do have that sea hero flag and that means that rosa has to take care of whoever is in the uh, mount ordeals crystal room all by herself but first we're going to see what the key item is it's the spoon, so if we run into Edward, Edward can equip the spoon and become really powerful. But now Rosa has to fight the Dark Elf and really wants to take care of this Dark Elf in a hurry. Uh, oh dear, I oh, ran out of arrows. Oh, with an Artemis arrow, should be okay. Well, I'm going to take a little bit of damage. I'm pretty sure Tall Grant's going to be fine. Woo Bear wins against the... Um, other trap chest tile there, so yeah, doing pretty well so far. Yes, absolutely, and we do have edge uh, available, so uh, you can throw that spoon for pretty much uh, 10k damage. And as uh, Dark Elf changes into his quote-unquote dragon form, it goes down pretty easy there. Rosa's Rosa's got enough firepower there with uh, the same arrows. Uh, not same arrows, the Sammy bow and the arrows in regards to that. So uh, definitely uh, things are good there. And uh, just wanted to quickly point out there are also uh, no free key items. So instead of talking to Edward, uh, you'd be on a Demas hunt, which uh, our best buddy uh, Peasants there has been able to find. I am not 100% sure where Peasants is right now. I'm sure somebody can help me out with that. I am not sure. Penguinator is going up the Tower of Zot, and I believe he's looking at two chest checks. So he's looking at the Flame Dog box, and he's also looking at the um, possibly the first boss. Might be a little tough that first boss, but we'll see. Uh, Demas defeated over in uh, Baron Baronian. And uh, peasants will be receiving a prize, the Luca Key. 
Well, that is uh, one of our objectives. It is uh, complete the sealed cave object one, as you see there. And uh, I had forgotten uh, initially uh, that Yang was actually in Baradin, so he would be our fifth character. There would be only two others left, uh, so two chances to, to spike that uh, crystal sword Cecil there. Um, so Peasants now has a, a almost a full team. Just needs to find that sand ruby to get edge. But I double. keep missing the boxes, one over in Evelyn, but the magma key has been picked up over at the Tower of Zod. Wow, brilliant play by Penguinator. That is a very spicy meatball. I, I had a seed where magma key was, was in Zot, and it was basically the last check I made. So um, it being a low percentage play, some of our runners uh, may run into some challenges and, and save that for the end. It will definitely uh, be very interesting to see how Penguinator uh, rolls this out and uh, see what happens next there as we do see uh, peasants uh, buying some stuff, selling some stuff, getting some money and uh, doing, doing what they do as uh, looks as though uh, Evelyn was a, a bus for, for key items, I believe, since uh, I still only see uh, the adamant on uh, Wubear's side and I believe he's gone through all those items there. We'll see uh, what, what that D-Mist uh, holds in store there. I'm sure really, really soon they'll, they'll want to check that to see. Uh, peasants will want to see if that Magna Key is there, but no, he's going to go back to Evelyn first. Very interesting choice on that part. Meanwhile, Pegrenator will be the first one to go underground um, as Wu Bear is going to defeat that Mist Dragon and pick up uh, his Luka, or yeah, Luka Key. Um, and it looks like Tallgrand is now taking on the Evelyn Gauntlet. Uh, and you know what? Uh, this these are very good plays here. Use, using those stones and oh, the stone didn't work there. But um, yeah, it, it, and the other important thing is it's like twenty five thousand experience points. It, that's nothing. To, uh, that, that's pretty substantial. Yep, there we go. Now all the enemies are taking a break over on Tallgrand's side. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's definitely, I think, going to be a, an interesting seed. I believe that was a, a Dragoon item of some sort. Uh, yeah, Dragoon runners. Spear. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a Dragoon Spear. Perfect. Thanks, Gabe. I appreciate it. And uh, we do see uh, Penguinator shopping underground. He's looking at the Elven Bow in uh, Dwarf Castle. Sees a Rune Ring. Always fun to see those. Little uh, little OP, so they got uh, they got a little price up in uh, free enterprise. They're only two thousand gold in the in the vanilla version. They're twenty thousand gold in free enterprise uh, just because they're that overpowered. And Wu Bear is going to give us the magic of speaking with Rydia's mom. And wah, wah, well, it's a defense sword, so you know, when in Rome. Yeah, defense sword is well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a good throwable item. I mean, when we get the sand ruby in clean edge, but eh. For sure. Know, or, or sell for 49,000 gold. Maybe buy yourself uh, you know, some nice, a nice uh, ribbon, almost. It's almost worth a ribbon. Pretty close, like uh, five, six of a ribbon. A parole officer is the job of the day. Over uh, Penguinator uh, discovered that for us. Thank you very much. Penguinator validating the seed and seeing that Hanzo Steel and Tamra, the Mazamune, Edge's most powerful non dartable weapon. Very interesting there. But as you can see, very pricey as well as uh, Kiara's, which uh, basically act as a uh, basically act as a ribbon for our, for our female uh, characters in uh, in the seed there, and uh, some ethers in. Uh, the Tama shop so uh, no no Blark spotted as of yet but also no Rydia spotted as of yet um, so we will see how those things go and here come the guards over on Tallgrain's side Wu Bear is going to take on the CPU uh, Peasants is concluding the Evelyn Gauntlet and I looks like uh, Penguinator is just doing some equipment here and there and uh, we'll move on. I believe Tallgram was the first one to put the Quake Kid online. The Quake spell has been learned. 
and uh, we're going to go into the Fey Marsh. I like this play. Uh, rule number one of Free Enterprise, always check your freebies. So there is one trap chest in here. Uh, and there, there are some pretty uh, pretty spicy gold amounts in here. Uh, and there is uh, the one free key item. And uh, Penguin Arrow want to see uh, who he's up against in uh, the King and the Queen, the Town of the Monsters. So uh, they are two separate objectives uh, for, for our tracking purposes. Uh, they are listed as objective four, but they are uh, actually separate. Uh, and we need six of the eight uh, in order to basically win the game. So if you're wondering uh, where Z's going to be, uh, he's he's taking a nap for a potion party. And uh, we do see uh, Penguinator pick up the uh, five warrior chests. We're going to see uh, what he is going to be up to here. I believe he's waiting on something. Sign. Ah yes, the hourglass. So uh, stop, stop those enemies, uh, which is still possible. The trap chests do not have the uh, the boss pit. So now that they are stopped, uh, we do give our uh, our runners uh, three, and it's uh, definitely useful there. As he's trying to swoon proc the uh, the warriors there because they do have about uh, roughly 20, 2300, 2200 hit points. Yeah, a, a lot of hit points. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, peasants uh, continuing to conclude the Eblin Gauntlet there. Woo Bear starting to go up Mount Ordeals. Tall Grant now claiming the defense sword over in Mist Town, uh, which was acquired after defeating the Mist Dragon. And. Penguinator. Uh, did he reset on those warriors? He, yeah, he did. He did reset. He tried to get Swoon Proc and it just wasn't happening. So uh, he's he's always uh, cognizant of time. So now that he knows where the chest is, he'll come back to it probably. He's going to check what's going on here. Check out the freaky item here, which is music for those of you music lovers in chat. Ye old twin heart. Yeah, we might be playing for 100,000 Jill coming up. Uh, I mean, we'll see We'll see how this works out. We we very well could be. It's it's possible that, that Twin Harp holds holds the key, which is basically the Darkness Crystal. Once you get underground, basically it's where's my Darkness Crystal at and where's my X-Cal's at if I do get uh, my Cecil. We, we already have a Crystal Sword, so while well, X-Cal's nice, it's, uh, it's not really that exciting. And in uh, the Fame Arch Armor Shop, it's a sorcerer. It's about the only useful thing there, so uh, nothing too, too great. And we're probably going to get a peek shortly at who is down at the bottom, as our other runners are basically, they're all just crisscrossing each other, doing doing the checks that uh, the other ones missed. So uh, it's, it's not that we've forgotten them. It's just, uh, you know, it's how it goes. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing the check. So we're doing it. We're doing, I don't know. I, did, I just made that up. We have uh, the evil wall and Calcabrina as our two bosses. And uh, Penguinator is going to decline that for now. Probably wants to get Quake Kid online. And then um, those, the Calbrina is going to become a lot more interesting. But uh, in the end, that, from, yeah, yeah, that that evil wall has has jokes. This seat's got jokes, Esprit. Uh, congratulations. Lots of jokes, because uh, that wall is going to hit like a basically an 18 wheeler going 96, whatever the top speed of those big rigs can go uh, every single time. And uh, it is not pretty. And Penguinator, knowing this, uh, wisely reset out there. He's probably got that in the back of his mind. There's still two checks there. Once he gets Quake Kid on, he'll probably go back, but he probably won't go back until he's ready to, to take care of both in regards to that. So, uh, so yeah. Well, yeah. so it so it depends. I mean, in American Truck Simulator, I think you're limited if you're online to like 70 miles an hour, or 110 kph. Uh, in the Euro Truck Simulator, I think you can get your trucks up to 140 kilometers an hour or something like that. But pretty fast, so yeah, I mean, yeah. So yeah, Evil Wall, it's gonna hurt. Yes, absolutely. Uh, thank you, Game Boy, for the uh, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator facts. Brought to you by Free Enterprise. Free Enterprise for all of your 
randomizing. Final Fantasy IV needs. One of many needs. Your needs may vary. <laughs> All right, uh, Pinguinator knocking out the Mad Ogres. Uh, and it looks like Tall Grant's going to claim the Magma Key shortly. Woo Bear, uh, I think, wrapped up ordeals. And uh, Peasants is working on ordeals as we speak. A question chat from uh, Kikas Gamers. Sorry, Game Boy, to, to kind of cut you off there. I apologize for that. Uh, question about, is Evil Wall susceptible to Eddie's strats there? Um, he is, but the problem is he just, while well, he hits like a truck, he has a truckload worth of hit points, so I don't believe that enough hit points would be eaten up before he'd get into basically crash mode. So without a, without a ribbon, uh, it would be really, really tough, or a ribbon and a moon veil. Um, to be able to to get through that fight with that strats. I I can't tell you how many hit points a truck has in American or Euro Truck Simulator. I'm sorry. <laughs> as as Scythe Marcer says, you can almost do it, but I believe just based on the progression and how much he has, I think you come up maybe about five thousand hit points short. Just doing doing the rough math in my head here, folks. This is this is on the fly math strats. Uh, for for someone who's really old and uh, uh, for someone who's Fair enough. Woo Bear now heading up and claiming a magma key. Tall Grant having claimed the magma key, going back downstairs and go to the underground shortly. And uh, Pink Grenader going through the Eblin Gauntlet. Skala, so uh, can we cast Trakaga? Great question. What you want to do is. Join our Discord at uh, Free Enterprise. It's an amazing community. And there's a channel called Feedback and Ideas. So maybe you can suggest that Trakaga be added as a spell. And maybe it'll get added one day. You never know if you don't ask. <laughs> uh, me change. As, uh, as the Dark Elf has said for the third or fourth time now. And... Uh, and then he'll say, Migo, bye-bye. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Trakaga, uh, pretty much shout-outs to uh, Palmer, basically getting uh, run over by a, a truck in uh, Rocket Town in Final Fantasy VII. So it's uh, it's good times. It's it's one of my favorite scenes. I'm kind of kind of sad that the, the new route and the speed run kind of bypasses it, unless you do 100%, but uh, it's, it's good times. Meanwhile, Nissy, you gave Scala Kitty an idea. Hmm. So, so coming soon to a Wacky Flags uh, set near you, we're going to have uh, all the spells are going to be replaced by Truck 1, Truck 2. It'll probably be Car 1 or Car 2, something like that. Maybe uh, there'll be a Truck Aga sprite in uh, the Z really, really soon. Who knows? It's like God Wizard of Oz. What happens behind the curtain stays behind the curtain forever and ever. Fair and, uh, enough. Fair enough. And we see uh, we're gonna throw uh, we're gonna throw a key down a well for Woo Bear, and he's gonna get underground in 32 minutes. He's probably all of our runners are probably feeling pretty uh, pretty good about themselves at this point. No one's made any any real like routing issues or mistakes or anything. Uh, Tall Grant is setting himself up uh, for the warrior's chest by putting uh, our boy Palum in the middle there and getting Quake ready. Uh, he is unfortunately not going to be rewarded for that, but, uh, you know, it's what it is. All right, so Tall Grant now going through the Fey Marsh. Um, gonna get some. Uh, Generally bad news. I'm um, kind of wondering if Twin Harp will become the play in a little bit. I, I, I don't know. There is a... Uh, the Luka Key does have um, some value um, in, in that they could... It is in logic. Um, we do have a, a glitch 
uh, that was originally found in uh, Vanilla Speedrun, um, where if you're in Dwarf Castle, you can go ahead and cast Warp when you're in the King's Room. Uh, it'll launch you back into a Crystal Room, but because this game's amazingly and perfectly programmed, that ends up being the Sealed Cape Crystal Room, and you'll be able to get that item without actually having to fight the boss. In Vanilla, it's the Darkness Crystal, um, but because this is all randomized, it could be anything, anywhere. Uh, Woo Bear actually giving us uh, some new and exciting stuff here. It's going to check out uh, Kinatsu, I believe uh, that was jumping around at uh, Dwarf Castle One here, and we'll we'll see uh, we'll see what happens there. Meanwhile, Tallgran is taking on the warrior fight uh, very quickly. The uh... Palum lost the blink, and Rosa tried to get the blink off, but not in time, and Palum's gone, and the Warriors have won on this occasion. Kinazo is the boss over Wu Bear's side, and uh, Kinazo is going to be the recipient of a quake, and um, just like that, about 2,500 points down, but here comes building up power. Oh, that's from Yang. We're trying to gather the water. We're going to do that in a minute, I think. There it is. Gather the water. Yeah, Kinatsu's uh, a little slow at this spot, uh, which probably bodes better for our runners as we see uh, peasants. Uh, seeing the unfortunate bad news with the Magma Key uh, at the top of the Tower of Zot, and uh, he's going he's gonna to do an end around here and use uh, Ye old Warp Spell to get back out of the tower and get probably promptly underground. At this point, he might be a little bit worried that his opponent, Penguinator, maybe made that lower percentage play. Um, so he, he might be not panicking, but just uh, just hoping he's not too, too far behind, which he's not. Um, Kinatso goes into a shell just because he's sad. Um, he's a sad turtle. Poor guy. Nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody loves him. He just, needs, oh. he just needs a hug. Well, I don't know. I find Kinazu pretty interesting. Uh, meanwhile, I think we might be heading toward... Well, this, well, this is going to get interesting. Uh, just 45 damage there. Uh-oh. Rose is going to be in trouble. Oh, nope. There it is. I think we're going to have a successful fight on Tall Grant's side, and I am correct. That is a lot of experience points. 21,000. And that means some extra levels. And the prize w was a sword. I, it w wasn't a key item, but... Uh, meanwhile, over on Wu Bear's side, gotta take on Mylan and the Gas. Absolutely. So, uh, it was Mylan all along. Uh, everyone else is a lie. Golbez is a lie. Evil Wall is a lie. Baba Alice is a lie. Um, hello, Edge. So, hey, we don't even need the Sand Ruby. We can just go, hey, Edge, join the team. Edge goes, yeah, I'll join the team. You got no choice. You got you got a free spot in your party. I'm just going to join. And uh, I'm sure Wu Bear is, is very happy to see that now that he doesn't have to track down the Sand Ruby. Come on, you... You all have been playing Free Enterprise for like hundreds of thousands of Cs. You know the hand is going to get that crystal. You can't, why can't you stop the hand? <laughs> uh, it's the same reason why in Baron Castle, um, they couldn't just leave out the front door when the walls were closing in. Same, same physics. All right, here come the work glitch in play. And your prize is... The pink tail, so that's going to result in a really good item, a really good weapon of some sort uh, later on once the hook is acquired. And then we've got another key item that's going to be acquired from the dwarf castle, and that key item is the bearing key. Well, that's going to open up this seat a little bit. It absolutely is. And uh, just as a reminder, make sure you... Uh... You follow our runners, they're providing us with this uh, amazing content, uh, all for you, the fans. So make sure you, you drop a follow. It's, it's absolutely free. You click a button, it takes a second and a half at most for all four, because the internet's really fast these days. So, so you can do that. Um, we do see uh, Wu Bear 
who's uh, going on a bit of a shopping spree. He's a little bit broke now, uh, but he's okay with that because he got some uh, Hanzo steel there for his boy Edge uh, in regards to that. And uh, yeah, he's going to be uh, really happy about that. Unfortunately, again, that's going to be uh, a bit of a zone for peasants here uh, at the warrior chest. Uh, it was a Murasame, apparently. I was able to see it that time. Oh, well, uh, yeah, once, well, Peasants does have Edge, so it's not that much of a Zong. That's actually a pretty good sword, so, uh, and, uh, oh, Luger is just equipped with Mass Immunes and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, Twin Harp acquired, now I'm over on Peasants' side. Penguinator now facing Mylan the Gas, and that'll be a victory in one moment's time. Yep, wait, coming up, successful fight. Have a great day. Uh, so please follow our two trackers, Scythe Marshall and Twisted Flax, and also follow our restreamer, S. Grunt, and follow uh, my co-commentator, Nitsi, excuse me, Nitsi, who has also, uh, who, who is who is the 10th person to join the Free Enterprise Discord. It, it, that takes some talent to have two people involved in this race show up in this appear in the Discord before I did. I'm the 23rd person in the Discord, so Nit Nitz Nitzi's 10, and Penguinator's 4, and I'm 23, so uh, how about that for some interesting facts? These fun facts brought to you by Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise. Again, that's Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise. Available, not in all locations. Your mileage may well, I'll tell you whose mileage is uh, definitely varying right now. It's Woo Bear's Lost Palum, and uh, that is not a good sign. Uh, quickly gonna bring him back to life, see if they can get the blink off before the warriors start attacking again. Uh, well, the Quake is gonna come off, so uh, definitely a shot there. Talgrand now going, working on the Dwarf Castle. Penguinator starting the Dwarf Castle. And Peasants doing some shopping, launching the Enterprise, and is off to back to the Dwarf Castle. Everybody to the Dwarf Castle, except Pooh Bear. That's okay. Pooh Bear says, I've already done Dwarf Castle, so I'm, I'm done with that. Let's, let's move on. Let's see what's in this, this Fame March. I'm wondering... With Quake Kid being online, if if we was just gonna go up there and go, you know what? Let's let's get this queen out of the way. There isn't a key item, but let's let's at least get it out of the way here, and we'll we'll worry about we'll worry about Evil Wall down the road there in regards to that. So I'm I'm super hopeful for that. Super hopeful. Yeah. Um. Maybe there isn't a key item at the queen, but there is a, an objective. One of the eight objectives that you uh, have to fulfill. Well, you have to fulfill six of them. So, uh, Wu Bear sees that, and uh, let's see, is uh, he gonna give that a whirl? Not quite sure yet. Uh, still not sure. So we'll uh, look at other runners. Kinazu, uh, the fight continuing over there, or Tall Grant's side, uh, Peasants, going back into the Dwarf Castle uh, uh, competition there. And where is Penguinator? Penguinator is uh, at that uh, town there. And going back up to the... Well, no, just uh, going back uh, above ground. Was, uh, he was at Tom I think he's uh, going to make the uh, the Baron the Baron play. It is, it is an objective and if the goal is to avoid um evil wall you still need six so you might as well get this one out of the way so you don't have to worry about that one so if you come back down to the fey march and all you have to do is is quake some dolls and win the game that that won't be too too shabby and uh, i'm sure our runners would would rather do that than than have to deal with evil wall there yeah that's true uh that's right. Uh, Penguinator does not have uh, work, but he has Tella, so I'm pretty sure Tella has work, so uh, I think he's he's not too worried about Palm having work. 
I could be wrong. Huh. Yeah, interesting. In Baron, uh, Penguinator just walked to see that first box, and it was worth a thousand gold pieces. If I'm not mistaken, that is the prize you receive at the treasure box in the vanilla game. So much vanilla, Grunt. Are you secretly Dathus in disguise? Find out on tomorrow's episode of Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise. Line 8, 7 Central. Check your local listings. Do, 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 Looks like uh, Woo Bear is also going to make uh, that play as well, and we will get a peek. I honestly, I was so hyped with that start, I totally missed uh, who is at the Bygan spot here. Yeah, no, I totally missed it, but uh, you're going to oh, be Mylon Z. That's what it's going to be. It absolutely will be, because uh, we've already seen the other purple rope. Was uh, Mylon and friends, and uh, this will, as you see there, Rosa's still doing what she does best, killing bad guys, taking names, and uh, Penguinier is going to quickly move on there. Wu Bear will also probably quite easily uh, push through this boss. He only has, uh, I believe, three thousand hit points at this spot, maybe four thousand, but still good enough for both of them. Looks as though uh, it was a. Uh, it was a squid, it's uh, Ultros' uh, grandpa on the throne the whole time. It's, uh, it's Octo again. At this spot, you love to see it. Um, Octo again, another one of those bosses that can potentially uh, be uh, a real pain based on where he is, but uh, being here and not too, too shabby, he's going to go down there before you lost the tentacle. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, Octo Man was going two hits. So that's uh, pretty quick. <laughs> didn't, didn't really have a chance to say hi. Uh... Well, so in about a minute, we'll see a prize there. So, oh, hello, Edward. I don't. I don't know. Do you take Edward? No. Penguinier's like, oh, the, the, the jukes. The Jukes from Penguinator. He almost got rid of Tella for Eddie, I was about to say. I think it's a little too late for Eddie. You have the spoon, but Eddie really suffers from, like, some really bad HP. He could have, like, a thousand levels, and uh, it's just, it's a no bueno. So, I am not surprised. Uh, we will see. It looks as though uh, Wu Bear says bye-bye Yang, who's uh, a bit of an HP tank to get uh to get eddie so that's uh actually quite exciting to see there uh so we'll see a bit of a divergence there and i unfortunately missed uh what was in the baron pot i did see it it was the hook so that um so when penguinator claims the two tails that's going to be uh very valuable uh, is going to go ahead and uh, launch the hovercraft. Really can't blame him because I imagine he's going to go off and launch the Falcon, which is another one of our objectives. Yeah, I bet you those at the beginning of the seat who thought we're not going to see sealed cave, we're not going to see the Falcon be launched. Ha <laughs> ha, think again. Anything it's can happen here at the Evelyn Elixir League. Absolutely. Um, as uh, as J Mac, uh, one of our amazing uh, community members, has noted in the chat, this may be a chain where we don't even need darkness. It is definitely a possibility. There's a, a non zero percent chance of that happening right now, uh, based on how the things are going. But um, again, that uh, that evil wall looms very large, and because it's not easy to get levels. It's not easy to get HP growth. There are no J items, so you can't eat your way through apples. Um, it, it's going to be a tough choice, but uh, we do see uh, Penguin Air. He's, he is going to do the hook route, uh, come into everybody's favorite, the uh, the Eblin basement uh, shop. Love how they, they moved out, but they were still able to get all this all their stuff together there. And uh, nothing of real significance in uh, in the shops there. There is uh, one trap chest. It could be even right here in the hospital. The 
very, very scandalous that uh, you'd have the, uh, the sale men hanging out at the hospital there while the, the poor people get better. But it is not, so that is all good. Troy Lady does strike again uh, for Wu Bear. Uh, as a fan, you love to see it. As a runner, you hate to see it. Um, sometimes those NPCs, they just, uh, they don't care. They're like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. So while Penguin Air continues to go down the cave, uh, Wu Bear joining. Tallgrant going through Baron now. Um, so pretty much a lot of people tracing uh, their steps as we uh, march along here. Penguinator is going to go against the Staleman. No problem. No problem. Ed is dealing 3,000 damage to uh, resolve matters in a real hurry. Uh, gonna get burst and uh, and yeah, good game. Yep, good game uh, and we will see uh, what our reward is uh, for there. Oh! Hey, everybody needs a cabin. <laughs> one of one of the biggest zonks in uh, in the, the trap chests uh, that I've seen so far is is the cabin. So uh, again, shout out to Grant for rolling us uh, this amazing seed. Uh, you love to see it. And uh, there's Duplicate Yang with a, a sparkle burning him down. So that could be pretty potentially spicy. Could be Wyvern. Could be uh, who? Who would you hate to see as a sparkle at the uh, at the top of the hook route, Game Boy? Um, well, yeah, Wyvern is a good one, even though Witch Burn is a thing. Uh, so, oh, let's see, what else could we? Oh, Hella Plague. Hella Plague. That'll be a good one. That would be definitely a good one in regards to that. Let's let's hope for that. Uh, I don't believe we've seen Ogo yet. Uh, we have only seen one sparkle and it was reset out of, so we don't even know who that was in regards to that, as we do see uh, Peasants also deciding, uh, just like his opponent Penguinator, that Edward is just not long for this world, so leave him at the side of the road, he can, uh, he can hitchhike his way back, leaving us uh, just one character left, so I feel like at this point for our uh, our runners that this team is probably going to be the team to the end. Again, maybe Crystal Sword Cecil, but um, the window for him is is quickly closing as uh, as we get closer and closer to finding where that Darkness Crystal might be, and uh, definitely we will see from there uh, what happens next. Yeah. Smart play by Penguinator. Did a sneak before getting burst and picked up a Bacchus, Bacchus Cider there. Um, also smart play in equipping the Mute Knife, which, uh, well, the Mad Ogres somehow, for some reason or other, are mages, so they take eight times damage. So one of those Mute Knives, and uh, that's another 10,000 experience. We're on Penguinator's side. And the Charm Staff, which, yeah. Again, as a, a runner, you love to see it. As we do see uh, peasants turn in, and uh, we do get a, a tower key and an Excal. So another fun sword for, for Edge to dart. So, so that's something. It's, uh, it's not quite 10k damage like a spoon, but uh, it is uh, it's about seven or eight thousand damage as uh, Tallgrant uh, does uh, complete the liberation of Baron Castle. We are going to see. Uh, him launch uh, his hovercraft and uh, probably proceed to uh, take the, as the affectionately known, hook route and uh, knock off that objective. I believe three of our contestants have liberated Baron Castle, so uh, five more objectives to go to win the game. Leviathan is our first uh, opponent here, and with uh, non maxed out HP, this is gonna get interesting because Leviathan, because of this spot, is like near max agility and uh, yeah, lightning quick, big waves, and ice twos coming up, and there, there's the first one already. Uh, but the magic is low, so that is a thing. Tall Greg gonna turn in uh, the, uh, his two tails for the tower key and the Excal. Uh, 
gonna try to quickly get the the 8,000 hit points down and does so that is fine and we see behind it the uh, sparkle for penguin eater uh thank you to Estrin, uh for helping us out there we appreciate it so much uh, all of our racers have the hooks so all of them have uh completed uh, baron castle as a result and it is blarg time you know Esgrint rolled this seed. Now let's see what Wyvern did. Fire 2 Wyvern? Come on. I expect better. Yeah, well, uh, just you wait until... Then, then we're, we're going to start seeing... I mean, you got to chip down 34,000 hit points, if, my, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, I mean, even with a Burst Edge and a Quake Kid, it's going to take a little while, and people are going to... Uh, have to take some nukes, and yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be an interesting fight. We'll we'll, we'll see if Penguin Air can pull it off. Um, I think he'll be able to. Um, he's he knows most of the you know the agilities and the manipulations uh, to make sure that that he gets turns before Wyvern gets turns. It, it might be a little spicy, but uh, I believe in Penguin Air. And for all those people who think. Wyvern flies because he's got wings. No, he's he's on the ground there. Just hanging out. Oh, and you love to see it. Penguin Inner has hit the nuke lottery, and I believe he will be okay from here in regards to that. Hitting Tella, allowing his uh his Zerked enemies to be doing what they do. Kicking butt, taking names, and Wyvern goes down. Oh, Tall Grant does accept Edward, so um, Edward is equipped with the spoon, so that uh, we'll, we'll see if that pays off. Woo Bear now trying the Wyvern. The wall is up. Uh, probably going to have to accept the nuke or two over on his side. Yeah, pretty much everyone's following the same path for the most part, so uh, we're... Probably all of our contestants are about to launch the Falcon, and that'll be two of the six uh, objectives fulfilled here at 55 minutes. Sorry about that, just making some notes there. Uh, Ashura at the uh, top of the tower, uh, just in case anybody missed it. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, depending on the situation, uh, Wu Bear did uh, equip Edward for Bear. He he put on the bandana, he put on the power shirt, and basically turned Edward into ye old glass cannon. Now will the glass cannon fire? And it does for, for 1800. As we do uh, finally at 56 minutes, uh, see that objective two for a penguinator be crossed off. Uh, and he would currently be uh, in the lead uh, versus peasants. But peasants is definitely not far behind and it is still anybody's race. Uh, Darkness Crystal may still potentially play um they still need to forge in regards to that looks as though penguinator knowing that the uh that it's not c by decides you know what tell me you're done and uh you just you just sit here and relax i'm gonna take uh take eddie and we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do now so uh very interesting choice by penguinator i'm gonna have to ask him the uh the, the thoughts behind that Always, always something new you learn about this game, eh, Game Boy? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just a reminder to everyone, this is uh, two races happening at the same time. Um, we, this is Penguinator from the Big Chocobo Storage Wars versus Peasants from Team Wombat Milk. That's on the top, and at the bottom we have Tallgram from Big Chocobo Storage Wars and Woo Bear from Team Wombat Milk. And and uh, we have each of our teams are playing three races this week and so basically if, if penguin air and tall Grand win their team is going to win the matchup against team wombat milk that's how that's going to work out and if it's a one one split then uh, we'll have to wait until race three to see how this goes but even if even if one team wins tonight you still want to play that third race because um it, there's always uh the tiebreaker, which is the most number of wins, uh, kind, kind of reminds me of uh, the net run rate in uh, cricket terms, but uh, 
Anyway, still important to play play regardless of result here tonight. Absolutely. Uh, a lot on the line in, in week one, but there's still a couple of weeks to go. And uh, as S. Grant uh, indicated, uh, perhaps Mr. Edward is going to tear down that wall. Uh, it appears as though uh, he picked up a ribbon. Uh, Penguin had to, to sell almost the entire store. Uh, thankfully, uh, with Potion Party, the inventory boss is usually non-existent here, but it looks as though uh, Penguin Eater is going to first stop and uh, complete Sealed Cave and uh, maybe maybe spikes that Legend Sword, potentially. It is a, a non-zero percent chance of, of that happening there. Um, there are still the four chests that are easily accessible in uh, Lower Babel that none of our runners have touched uh, at this point, although I believe um, we might... No, I I lied. My apologies. They're they're both uh, peasants and tall granters still in Upper Babel, so uh, I lied about that. So um, yeah. Now, it's... question. I have a question. We have the no experience for random monsters, but do trap doors give you points? You know what? That's a great question. And Skype Marshall is nice enough, and Escrant. Uh, our amazing restreamer, our amazing tracker, uh, is nice enough to say no. Uh, apparently, those are zonks in regards to experience. So, uh, definitely a great question to ask there, Game Boy, and uh, I'm glad we we're able to get the answer to uh, to all of our chatters and all of our watchers out there. Looks all like right. That. So, looks like. Um... We're doing some key item checks over on Woo Bear's side, uh, going through Lower Babel. Oh, gained the crystal. Oh, I was like, oh my goodness, he gained the crystal. Uh, it actually doesn't mean anything, except it's a key item toward the 10. And let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that, that actually is the 10th key item. So I actually is much bigger than I thought. Double experience points now for Woo Bear with plenty of high experience uh, places to check to come so yeah that actually worked out very well uh just a life is either with a life or a life staff i don't, didn't see which one it was but the second one and i'm gonna move on to the next box here and it is mike wazowski you will never unsee it now you're welcome ak play at the sealed cave uh, that uh, does need to be uh, pulled down here for um for one of our objectives in regards to that. So you'll love to see it. Uh, Plague has this very interesting mechanic where basically he casts count. He doesn't do any other attacks, so it turns out to be a DPS race, except uh, in the instances where you can kill one of your one of your teammates and then uh, life pushing him up. And then Plague script says, oh, hey, he doesn't have that bit on so we need to recast count and start it over again so um penguin air knows what's going on and you see uh you see plague recast count there in regards to that so uh this is this is not going to be uh too much of a, a trouble at this point it's, uh, yep he did forget to file his paperwork so they sent him to sub basement b in the sealed cave do you hate to see it <laughs> yeah, so if you can move toward the store to the bottom of the seal cave, that'd be great, okay? <laughs> anyway. Thanks, you know, Thanks. new people coming in, gotta, gotta make some room, and uh, Penguin Eater getting closer and closer. Unfortunately, uh, we already knew that uh, I think it was peasants who uh, used the work pitch, uh, that it was a pink tail. So uh, we knew that was already a zonk. Penguinator didn't know that, but now he does. And so he's just going to use uh, use his boy pal in there to, uh, to warp on out. And uh, we will see uh, what our runners do next as we do see Woo Bear. And uh, I apologize for missing this. Uh, did we miss anything of substance so far? And I wonder, does that mm. does that twin harp still loom large, or yeah, twin harp still in play, and uh, 
and uh, the rest of the boxes over in the uh, lower Babel were pretty much socks. I saw a Zeus gauntlet, which actually was equipped on edge, didn't have any uh, didn't have any gloves equipped, so that actually was a good thing. And uh, there was a defense sword as well, so uh, yeah, it didn't quite work out there. So we are. So let's uh, look at the Ashura fight. Shall we? Let's. Um... I'm sure you can take down a couple of different ways. You can one, you can DPS race it. Uh, sure, it goes through basically a script, casting Cure 3, Cure 4, and Life 1. I'm pretty sure that uh, Wu Bear will uh, lock. It looks like he's going to lock uh, Ashura to that Life 1 uh, and basically go from there. You could also cast Double Star Veil in regards to that, or you could also uh, just wall Ashura and, uh, and go from there. So we'll we'll definitely see that. Um, could be Twin Harp. Could uh, uh, just as a reminder, uh, with the Crystal Sword, you can go see your your best pal in the world, Zeromus, if you have the Darkness Crystal, because uh, there is no pass in this fight set, so you're gonna have to take the traditional way. But uh, spoilers: uh, apparently Zeromus is not there. I've I've been told this by uh, more than one person. So even if you wanted to go and fight him. As uh, others have said, he's off with food. They're they're playing euchre or bridge or something like that. And of course, Nitsy blinks and misses the item. Hopefully, it wasn't something useful. Game Boy, can you uh, can you help me out with regards to that? I missed it too because I'm looking at a peasant stream and a power shirt was acquired from that trap chest with those six ghosts. Uh, so uh, there is um, no. Didn't, didn't exactly see the item, but it uh, doesn't look like anybody's jumping up and down, so... Oh, oh, Legend Sword, it was picked up there. So that is another... I That's going to be another um, objective completed in just one moment. And they're saying go mode, I, and I guess theoretically it is go mode. Yep, uh, Moon potentially could be haunted uh, again. If you want to run up against uh, Evil Wall, as long as you equip him, you, you should be good to go. And uh, I believe Wu does have uh, does have Eddie in his party. Uh, it appears as though he's going to go down and forge, and we are going to see uh, what Rosa gets. I am not too familiar with uh, the DS version um, in this fight set. When you uh, when you combine the uh, Adamant and the Legend Sword, you don't get an Excalibur, uh, but you get a tier, I believe, 7 or tier 8 item for our hero, in this case Rosa, but I have no idea what that's going to be. So let's let's look and see what it's going to be. It's going to be a Perseus bow. Chad, is that good or is that bad? Uh, yeah, I don't remember off the top of my head. And I, and I added that bow over to Fubu Gauntlet. I, I don't know. I kind of was hoping for the super anger rod that I just implemented in that program. <laughs> it basically gives Tele plus 50 to all stats, and you can cast double Meteo, and <laughs> Tele just becomes incredible. But anyway, I digress. Uh, let's kill some more ghosts. Oh, that is that is awesome. If uh, if you haven't already, my my co-commentator Gameway is an amazing person, amazing programmer. He's uh, he's put together a, a randomizer for uh, this version. But the Pixel Remasters, we played the Super Nintendo version called uh, the Blue Gauntlet. Definitely uh, check him out and check that out. It is uh, an amazing randomizer. Thank you very much. As we see more ghosts defeated. And uh, more levels gained. No, I mean, Peasants is uh, an another Excalibur. What's with all these Excaliburs in the game? <laughs> uh, as Yang gets a brief talking to, so that unlocks a key item up in Fubul, where we have a chat with Yang's wife. We'll see where that goes. Kevin spent, and as we move on. And uh, Tallgrant going through Evelyn and picking up all those. Uh, all those boxes did pick up the crystals, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, 11 items, so double points there. Penguinator defeating Ashura, and one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, only eight items there, so that's single points. And Peasants continuing to see if uh, 
Uh, he could possibly pick up a key item. Now I'm gonna take on uh, Mongols. Uh, have fun with that. Yeah, they're uh, they have this uh, very very annoying breath uh, uh, spell that they cast that turns you basically into a frog and puts some other sass effects on you. So it's it's an abuelo, but um, with the uh, the characters he's got up, uh, I I don't I don't think it's gonna be too too bad in regards to that, uh, as we do see uh, Penguin Eater going up the uh, the tower here. We're gonna see uh, what uh, peasants gets, and oh boy, things just got very very interesting. Spikes, the darkness crystal. And we will see what we'll, we will see. That was a spike crit? Or that, was a, that was a darkness crystal? Oh. It was. So while Penguinator is in go mode, he's got a really tough uh, evil wall fight on his hands. Peasants, also now in go mode, um, can definitely... Uh, he is, he's going to check. I believe he is the only runner who hasn't checked uh, the Fate March yet, and he's going to see the bad news. Uh, but still, anybody's race, uh, anything could potentially happen. There could be potentially some really, really easy bosses on the moon at uh, at the uh, at Cape Value, aka Cape Bahamut, or uh, at the the bottom of the altar. But uh, both of our, our runners in uh, the the copper uh, at the top are both in go mode, and uh, Tall Grant is going to uh, quickly. Uh, get into uh, at least go mode of sorts himself. Have not seen King Queen Evelyn as uh, Twisted Flax, one of our crackers has indicated. Uh, haven't seen Pain Man. Uh, they could they could definitely be looming large if they're on the moon. They are both uh, very very uh, very rude, except uh, not King Queen Evelyn, just just Pain Man. So uh, looks like Penguinator is going to make the play. And he's like, you know what? I've got my Edward. I've got my ribbon. Let's uh, let's do this, and let's uh, let's wrap up this seed. Yeah, uh, this should be pretty uh, regulation here uh, over on the peasant side. Uh, just a quake, and that's probably going to do it. Uh, as soon as this quake goes off, uh, can he take a turn? Yes, he can. Ooh. And I'm, yep, that's it. <laughs> Smooth as you like. Eleven thousand experience points, levels, and uh, gonna win uh, an item, of some sort, an hourglass two. Well, okay, so that's uh, number three for peasants. Uh, still three to go, though. Looks as though he's uh, gonna nope out of that evil wall, and uh, we do see. Penguin Eater just charge right up. He's like, you know what, Evil Wall? I got this. As you know what I'm going to do? As you can see there, Evil Wall does hit like uh, 70 mile per hour. Even, even he gets a kitted out Rosa doing 1200, or not 1200 damage, but still 800 damage. And uh, so now you're going to see Evil Wall kind of get angry at himself, and he's going to hit himself a bit. So, uh... Eddie Strat's what? large. Yeah, what? Evil. If uh, you've never seen this before, chat, uh, Evil Wall is is just a little confused. About as confused as the Baron Guards get when uh, when the officer disappears, and he just as he moves, he just hits himself um, because technically at this point in the game you're not supposed to have Edward. So I guess uh, this wasn't really thought of. So. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, Evil Wall's gonna take some swings at himself. Uh, when when he does get to crush phase, though, uh, Penguinator was smart enough to uh, to equip Eddie, and uh, between the spoon and everything else, he's gonna be able to do damage. Oh no, looks like Evil Wall took care of himself. So uh, definitely through there, and Penguinator is definitely in the driver's seat. Sure is. Actually, I think we're done. Are we done? No, no, no. We have to. We have to take care of. Uh, we have to take care of Calprina. Uh, but yeah, Penguinator is uh, 
uh, barring something really rough happening, Penguin will be winning uh, for his team. And we'll see if Tallgren can follow suit, but looks like Woo Bear is uh, quickly picking up uh, objective number five. And I don't think Woo Bear has. Uh, I think Woo Bear picked up uh, Edward. Oh, did he? Oh, does he? Well, then, uh, well, then don't. Uh, then uh, don't listen to the. Uh, you, sh you should always listen to Nitsi. You should not listen to Game Boy. <laughs> yes, I saw. I I thought it was an interesting move, and it, it actually turns out to be uh, a very pivotal point here, uh, as we are going to see. Uh, looks as though, barring incident here, Penguin Eater is going to take down uh, his sixth objective here and uh, win one for the. Uh, Words are hard sometimes. The uh, the big chocobo storage wars on their side, but on the other side, Team Wombat Milk. It looks as though a uh, Woo Bear may just may just pull this off uh, against Tall Grant. So uh, definitely, definitely very very interesting in regards to that. And Scala uh, in, in chat, uh, just quickly uh, pointing out, and thank you so much for that information, um, that there are no other viable targets, so the wall just attacks itself. This fun fact brought to you in part by Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise. This is us at ff4fe.com. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> the substitutions, the changes, or refunds. Um, we were uh, losing to Evil Wall on this occasion. And uh, did not get Edward hidden there, so gonna have to try again in just a moment. And we're gonna have another test to ascertain uh, ascertain Woo Bear's uh, party's will here. And uh, gonna need to start again, I think. Immediately went to Edward. And GG's to Penguinator finishing in an official time of one hour, 15 minutes, and 14 seconds, winning against Peasants, who they're both outstanding runners, and they have both put out uh, an outstanding match here. So, so GG's uh, to him. I'm sure we may potentially have him in the booth shortly. Yep, here he comes, and there he is. Good game, Penguinator. Well played. Thank you. So, uh, Penguin, what'd you think of this seed? It's probably my first seed I've done without a Darkness Crystal at all, which was interesting. Almost always end up doing at least one objective on the moon. I feel like early game was a little bit rough, um, but I think mid game I routed pretty efficiently and got pretty lucky. Um, so, ended up with a fairly decent time. Yeah, seeing that uh, Evil Wall probably uh, threw you for a bit of a loop, but then uh, Edward coming through in the clutch there and uh, pulling out some Eddie strats uh, that we haven't seen uh, in a little while there. So it was uh, it was good to see that. And yeah, Moon Moon ended up being haunted. Very very rare. This is uh, the first seed I've seen where um, there there hasn't been uh, a requirement to go to the Moon in regards to that. Um, so definitely uh, definitely good. And yeah, you mentioned the Eddy. I, I over-prepared a bit for the King and Queen. Uh, I'd, I've noticed I went back to buy ribbons because I thought I might have to do some fighting. Um, I bought two so then I could bring Edge back up and berserk him. Um, but the, the King Spot, usually the, the Evil Wall will actually kill itself if you hide fast enough. And so yeah, didn't really need to do quite that much, but was pretty important to pick up that Eddy, I think. Absolutely, and uh, yeah, I, I did notice, and I, I wrote that down to mention. But then when you when uh, you went back, not that you went back, but uh, when we saw Edward there, I was like, he's just gonna go back and get Edward in. And pretty much that fight is, is just about free at that point. Yeah, I, I realized the second after I dismissed Edward that he would be useful. I I saw that you you kind of double clutch, and I thought maybe you were just like. Uh, 
memeing or, or trying to like fake us out or something there and then you dismiss him. I was like, okay, well, he, Penguinator knows too much about this game, way more than I do, so uh, definitely can't, uh, can't fault the play there, that's for sure. Yeah, meanwhile, both Wu Bear and Toll Grant are uh, watching uh, Evil Wall defeat themselves. Oh. Oh, we got. Uh, God, at least get this la these last two hits in. Nope, 15, 12 isn't going to work. Oh, missing the crush. Uh, how does that? How is that possible? You know what? Uh, Eddie has a ribbon, and uh, oh. some, some people have said ribbons are trash, but ribbons are actually super useful in Final Fantasy IV, so tell your friends, update your Facebook, update your MySpace, update your ICQ status message, update your MSN Messenger, update all those super important platforms, um, and we do have Woo Bear coming in as a winner in the Whoop. Uh, Tina, a portion of our match uh, against Tall Grant at uh, 1 hour and 19 minutes and 20 seconds. Also, uh, Penguin Air, sorry about that. Just had to cut into the action there. Any any final thoughts? Uh, no, just GG's. Uh, GG's to everyone. Looks like it was a pretty close race, uh, even though it was two separate races, but everyone's pretty close on time. And just happy to be racing again and playing with uh, a new team that people I met for this tournament, but having a good time racing with them. That's awesome. And we we appreciate you uh, having back after a little bit of a hiatus there. And uh, looks like uh, your team, uh, Big Chocobo Storage Wars, uh, it's going to end up one and one uh, after the end of this. So uh, your third race uh, coming up with uh, I can't, I don't know who it is, but I'm sure it's coming up soon, uh, against, uh, team, uh, uh, oh my god, sorry about that, Penguin, uh, against Team Wombat Milk here, and, uh, we'll be definitely looking forward to, uh, to that race. All right, and I believe Wu Bear will be joining us. Yep, there he is. Good game, well played, and it's now 1-1 uh, one, one in the uh, team competition there. So, uh, uh, yep. your thoughts on this seed? Uh, didn't have to go to the moon. Where does moon? It was fun. I loved it. Well, I didn't have to go to the moon anyways. <laughs> it's, it's always a good time when, when the moon is, as we say, optional. At, at, as soon as the seed was rolled, I was like, there's not three extra moon objectives? I don't even know how to play the seed anymore. Like, what's going on? Yeah, I was uh, just commenting uh, with Penguinator. It's the first seed that I've seen uh, where we uh, we have not required the moon at all. And uh, fun to see uh, our, our seventh character, Cecil, there, who was at, yeah. the, uh, <laughs> at, top of Zot. at the top of Zot there, just looking <laughs> on, your, on your stream there. So... Uh, we we had a couple of X cows and a crystal sword for him, but you know what? Some sometimes he still just needs to take a nap too. I don't think I got those X cows. I got, I had the crystal sword, which I ended up selling, I think, for something. But did I? Ha I don't know. Maybe I had X cows. I wasn't paying attention, honestly. Oh, that's that's okay. They were um, when you're when you're watching four runners, it's it's hard to track who yeah. got what. Uh, oh, yeah. So I I apologize for that. But there was. Okay, uh, sure. There was there was more than enough uh, Hanzo seal for for everyone it seems uh, on this seat. Yeah, I felt real uh, real wealthy. Always always good always good to to get that that first race out of the way. You get those uh, sort of pre-tournament jitters out of the way, and uh, you get going there. Um, thank you again uh, so much, Wu Bear, for for running and. Uh, uh, I'm sure, uh, on behalf of Game Boy and, and 
Brent Mouse. We, uh, we appreciate you again and look forward Thank to you. seeing you uh, in the coming uh, days and weeks. Yeah, I'm not too sure what my next race is. JMAC, our team leader, has a, a, a sticky, a bunch of sticky notes <laughs> with everything laid out. I don't know. I think I'm off next week. Could be wrong. Also, no comments on my, my uh, top tier pro uh, fatal recall. I was just about to say, I was just looking through my notes and going, how in the world do you spike fatal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you got to be lucky to be good. Something. I don't know. It was pretty great though, because that was that, like that's by far the only trap chest in there that takes time without you know mute or Elvin and stuff, which I didn't have. So yeah, that was uh, that was huge. Was that just uh, okay? Let's recall and let's 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 hope for the best and and just yeah. happen oh, yeah. to happen to win the lottery there. Yeah, like I know you can recall stone and I know you can recall fatal, and I've done it a couple times in the past. Um, first bosses and stuff but yeah it was just a, a crap sheet right like five percent chance let's try it well hey some like you said sometimes um you got to be good to be lucky and you got to be lucky to be good yeah it was fun though thanks tella i'll never uh i'll never call him a potato again <laughs> absolutely not he uh he definitely saved you on that one but uh again thank you so much uh for pup riding us uh this amazing content in this uh, amazing race, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you in the coming uh, days and weeks. Yeah, I look forward to watching this one back. Thanks for Absol having me in. Absolutely, we uh, we appreciate it again, and uh, have yourself a, a wonderful uh, day, morning, night, wherever you might be. All right, you too. Goodbye. Bye. We now have Tallgren joining us, who uh, completed his seed uh, four and a half minutes behind Wu Bear. Uh, good game, well played. Um, yeah, how about that evil wall? Um, you know, I was actually somewhat excited to see it when it first popped up and really happy when I saw Eddie. I had actually had a practice seed where that evil wall just punish, 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 punish me. And afterward, everybody who'd been in that race talked about the strat of hiding Edward through the fight. And so it's like, okay, I've learned from my mistakes. I know what to do. This is awesome. This is setting up so great. And just other than him targeting me a little bit unpleasantly, went, uh, went the way I wanted it to. It was just beautiful. That's excellent. Uh, what about uh, your rest of the thoughts of the seat there, Tallgren? Uh, there are a few mistakes I'd like to get cleaned up. I mean, I think uh, I had a wipe at uh, Hobbs early that was probably just nerves. Uh, you know, excited for the tournament. Tournament the season's a lot of fun. Uh, I think I could have handled that Kanato fight in Dwarf Castle a little bit better, so that would have felt nicer. And of course, I uh, brave farted the walk past one chest on the way down the hook route, and of course, it was the one that had the monster fight in it. But. Um, you know, it's hard to be too unhappy with the routing. I felt like I played the seed the way I wanted to play it. I mostly went where I wanted to do. I felt my early looting and shopping was just on point. I did a great job remembering where that glass hat was. and Those things were critical. And overall, it just seemed like it came together pretty well. Just wasn't quite enough to get it done against uh, Wu Bear. And I'm not terribly shocked. Wu Bear is an absolutely phenomenal player. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that I kept it close, but I would have liked to be a little closer, maybe in front. I, I I totally get that, Tallgren. I've been there, and Wu Bear is is an amazing runner. And like on the surface, looking at at all of your your time so far, there is not really like any major errors. As you said, there are some really minor minor things, and that's I think where you're looking at the difference there. But you had everything pretty much uh, on point, and uh, it's it's the first race. You know, it's a brand new brand new tournament season. There's more races to come. Uh, your team's uh, definitely still got a chance to, to win. Uh, it's tied at one. So uh, so definitely we, we look forward to seeing you in the future coming days and weeks. And uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, racing uh, for us tonight and uh, showing us uh, what you can do and, and what people should be worried about coming, going forward. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Well, I'd like to thank you, Game Boy, uh, Game Boy and Nancy. Thank you both for uh, calling this race. I can't wait to hear it back. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. And of course, thank you to everyone else who worked on the crew for uh, Side and Twisted, who both uh, were tracking it. I don't know which of the two got to track our race, but I'm sure they were both excellent. And of course, S Grunt is absolutely phenomenal and was kind enough not to roll a seed like he rolled last night. So thank you guys very much. 
Absolutely. Uh, good game once again, and uh, we'll see. We'll see you. Uh, so we'll see you soon. Thank you. As peasants has completed the seed, uh, and uh, uh, going a slightly alter alternate route, but uh, worked out very well, uh, knocking out uh, Golvez <laughs> quite easily, thanks to a couple star veils, and uh, defeating the uh, lunar sores, also with some walls and star veils and some bad breath, and and. Uh, Finished in 87-37, it wasn't good enough this time, but uh, still pretty pretty good uh, race there. Absolutely, all all these runners are, are great runners and put this seed together and knowing that basically the major difference was Penguinator uh, getting to spike that uh, magma key earlier by making that, that check at Zot versus the rest of them, um, doing it a little bit later. I think that's where the major difference comes from. Uh, otherwise, they all they all come in, you know, sub-130, which is really good on, on these flags, especially with some really rude bosses there, really rude evil wall, some other uh, rude bosses in some places. The, the moon being a little bit nicer, apparently, um, than expected, but, uh, but definitely, uh, GG uh, two peasants. Uh, again, uh, it ends up being a wash. They're one and one. Uh, looks as though uh, their team captains, uh, J Mac, the librarian, and for uh, Big Chocobo Storage Wars, team captain Tall Grant. Uh, it'll be exciting to see uh, who's going to be in that final match this week to see who wins uh, in regards to that. And we are now joined in the booth by the amazing peasants. Uh, GG to you. Uh, tell us tell us your thoughts on the seat. Hey, thanks. Um, kind of a lame seat uh, because I lost. <laughs> uh, it wasn't too bad. It was really linear. Um, I played the early game quite poorly. Like, uh, there was a lot of fights that should have been quicker with how probably powerful our team was, but uh, they weren't, which I, so I felt very far behind, like for the first like 30, 40 minutes. So after I dropped down to do the Falcon, I was like, you know what, I'll do Sylph because let's hope that like, you know, everyone's going to go tower here because we have tower key and it, it's the most logical, it makes the most sense, the most linear play. So I was like, hopefully I can, you know, get something in, uh, in Sylph and try and squeak out a win but that is not how it played out <laughs> well that definitely uh does happen sometimes peasants uh definitely a great showing still sub 130 which is really good on these flags i i didn't see any any like real mistakes from you it's just sometimes a routing gets you sometimes it doesn't um you know if if you're gonna watch it back i I'd love to, to have run this seat in 127. I'm probably still running it now. So, uh, so definitely well played, and uh, we we look forward to seeing you in uh, the coming days and weeks. Any any final thought? Yeah, uh, GG to, to Penguinina. Absolutely gun of a runner, so um, it was already going to be pretty hard. Um, I would like to hopefully... I mean, this is one of my worst times I've had on these seats, so hopefully next time it's not uh, quite as bad. And... Um, I can clean up my early game a little bit more and then hopefully I can come back with a, a win next week. Absolutely. Uh, both of your teams are now uh, one and one with uh, Wu Bear winning uh, your, uh, your teammates. So uh, yeah. <laughs> def definitely still in it and uh, it's it's anybody's anybody's game at this point. I would say thank you to Wu Bear for carrying me. I do appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> And uh, good luck to J-Mac, who is our next uh, runner. She's going to smash it, so hopefully we'll be two and one this week. Definitely, here's hoping again. Uh, everyone, make sure you give uh, all of our runners a follow. They do uh, amazing work here, and uh, without them, it's just me and Game Boy talking about uh, old commercials and, uh, you know, Diet Pepsi uh, for an hour and a half. <laughs> so uh, definitely... Uh, Give, uh, give them some love and uh, also give our, our trackers uh, and restreamer a follow. I mean, S Grant rolled this this amazing uh, amazing seed, we'll call it. Um, he deserves uh, all the love to make sure that 
nothing catches on fire, and even if it catches on fire, you don't see it. And uh, to make everything all pretty, um, we appreciate uh, all of all of the hard work that goes behind the scenes uh, to Twisted Flat, as well. Whoop, sorry about that. Uh, as well as Skype Marshall, uh, clicking the buttons, making sure that everything gets uh, lit up here. Um, I believe uh, we are going to uh, go over and raid uh, runner uh, Skarn Flax Ender, who's running some potion party uh, practice. Uh, just remember, uh, on Free Enterprise 1, uh, the UNO, um, there will be a race uh, between Frankie Bones and Lord Goober, uh, starting uh, in about 20 minutes, 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I don't know uh, where Peasants lives. Uh, Australia. <laughs> oh, so it's probably it's probably in the morning. It's it's tomorrow, so it's it's Thursday. It's in the future. 11, 11 a.m. for all uh, Perth viewers, all two of us. Nice. <laughs> That's excellent. So, uh, final thoughts on Game Boy before we uh, we uh, kick it off there real quick. Uh, no, not really. It's just uh, been a pretty, pr pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting race there. I learned a few things, so um, definitely, uh, definitely excellent result there. And we're going to look forward to the uh, tiebreaker, so to speak, uh, coming up uh, later on. So um, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up, and we're going to go ahead and kick that raid off. And uh, actually, the time is running out, so we're going to get. We're gonna head on out for my co-commentator Nitsi, for our runners, for our comment, for the restreamer S run, for the trackers, Skyth Marshall, Twisted Flax. This is me, Game Boy F9. You've been watching Free Enterprise 2. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. Remember, no spoilers, or you'll get the bonk or the newspaper, or both. Bye.